Hey everybody, this is Robert Wheeler with Wipo Knives. Today I'm going to show you a few commands on AutoCAD to get you started designing your own knives at home. So there's a couple basic commands uh, as far as drawing commands that we're going to be going over today. And one is line, which is up here, and circle, and arc. These three draw tools are the commands that you're going to be using the most in AutoCAD for knife design. There's also a lot of other modify commands that we'll be using to manipulate our draw commands. There's a decent learning curve to AutoCAD and you have to learn some of the basic commands to even get started doing the most basic things. So I guess we'll just start off with selecting line. So we're going to come up here, select the line command, and then this gives you a point of position that you can enter or you can just click. So I can just click right here and then drag and then click again. Uh, to make a line. So I can actually go from here and continue to draw uh, another straight line. So if I click another point, it would be clicked right there. And then I could click another one right here. And then to get it to stop drawing, uh, all we have to do is hit the Enter key. So hit Enter, and then we have our three lines all connected together. So now to get rid of those lines, we'll use the Erase command. So we'll type uh, e, or you can select it up here, the erase command, but I like to type the commands because sometimes you can't find all these buttons somewhere uh, if you're using a different version of AutoCAD or something. If you know the command uh, keys, then you can just type them on nearly every AutoCAD system. So we're just going to hit E, enter, and then I'll click down here and then highlight everything. Uh, let me just highlight these two. Uh, and then hit enter and that gets rid of those and we can hit escape twice to clear our command field and then we're gonna hit E enter and you can also select the lines that you want to erase such as this one right here so we're gonna hover our mouse over that line click it and then hit enter and that gets rid of your lines and just to tell you the line command it's actually just L so it's pretty easy. L for line, E for erase, C for circle, uh, A for arc, all kinds of stuff like that. Now with this, um, you can actually drag around. See, I still have the line that I can do. And then I can connect it back to this point. And it gives me that square, that green square uh, connection point. So if I click right there, it connects it to it exactly. OK, so now I'll be going over the circle command. And so you select circle, or you can hit C, enter. And then if I wanted to go back to line command, if I hit L, enter, it's going to error, because it's trying to put a center point for the circle. So you have to hit escape a couple times before you go to a different command. So we'll go back to circle, enter, and then I'll click. And then I like to put, I like to enter D enter and that sets a diameter of the circle instead of a radius okay so I'm gonna select circle and then click D enter and then now I can select it to the size that I want it to be and everything in AutoCAD is measured in thousandths so if you you know for like one and one half inches you would type 1.5 enter and then that would give you a diameter of 1.5 inches. If I were to, you know, it's it's really close, but uh, if I were to get the exact measure point from here to here, then it would be 1.5. And to do that, I'll hit escape a couple times and then hit L and then enter and then click right in the middle. And now what we're going to do is hit F8. And that's ortho command, and that straightens your lines out completely on a on a one or well a 90 degree axis. So we'll just click out here, enter, and then enter again for another line, and we'll come out this way, hit enter, and now hit escape a couple times, and now we're going to use the trim command. So the trim command allows you to take this line right here and then trim off the ends. So if I were to hit T R enter enter and then select that and select that side it gets rid of both of those sides and 
now I can actually, you know, measure again with the linear tool, uh, the linear dimension tool, and now it would be perfect. So it's 1.5, and uh, I'm just going to erase all this. And I will now go over the arc command. So I'm going to select arc up here, or you can hit A, enter. And then an arc is just three points that you choose where you want them to be. So if I was to click right here, uh, let me turn off ortho, otherwise it'll all be straight. So hit F8 to turn ortho off. And then I'm going to click right here. And I'll make my third point right there. And that makes an arc. And now if you were to, to make another arc, you could click right here, here, and here. And it's basically a circle command, but you control where they go. I just want to say that I'm not an AutoCAD expert <laughs> by any means, but you know I can get by with basic commands and do drawings uh, for my knives. So let's go. Let's make a line over here. Click, drag, click, enter, and now I'll make one. Oops. Enter. Make one right here. Enter. So now we're going to be using extend to make this line fill up to this line. So E X enter enter and that you click on that and it'll fill up to that side. Now if I were to let's say make another line, click and then bring it over here. Click enter escape escape E X enter and then we're going to select the object that we want this line to extend to so that's the main body that we want to extend to and now we hit enter and then we can click this one so you can do this uh, in an easy way by doing the first one like I showed you by just clicking enter enter instead of selecting the object and then going back to this object to extend it to so I'll show you that again L enter enter escape escape E X, enter, enter, and then boom, you got it. Uh, it goes really, really quick that way. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? Uh, the move command is really, really helpful. So M, enter, provides a move command, and you can select the object, enter, and then select your base point where you want to move it from. So if I was select right here, I would move it from this side. If I was select to select here, I would move it from that side. So we're going to select it from here, and now we control the line where we want to move it to. And I can put it over here and connect it to this point, just like that. Um, so we'll get rid of all that, and all I did there was just E, enter, click, click, enter. And that erases everything. Um, so let's draw, let's draw a circle again. So we're going to draw right here, and uh, let me see. Okay, we're going to hit C, enter. <laughs> Sorry, I need to go over the commands with you. Uh, I, I kind of get antsy and I want to go, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to uh, keep going or telling you all the commands that I do. So we're just going to go C, enter, and then click D, enter, 5. So we made a circle with a diameter of 5 inches. Uh, and you also may want to check. Uh, I believe everything is in inches when you start. Um, but it may be um, somewhere in a different menu if you want to use centimeters or millimeters or something like that. I'm sure there's a menu. Uh, I can look it up here after a while. But uh, you may be able to just do a little Google search to show you that. Um, but for everything that I use, it's all in inches. So, um, because everything is registered in thousandths of an inch. Uh, well, I guess for my setup, but... Okay, <laughs> on with the uh, experiment here. So, we're going to take a circle, and then we're going to take that circle and copy it. So, what we can do is hit C-O, enter. Oop, C-O, enter. And then we select the circle, hit enter, and then select the center of the circle, because that's where we want to move it from. 
and now we can uh, click click that and then drag it over here click 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 as many circles as you want you can overlap them or anything um, so right now what we're gonna do is show you the trim command so if we want to like connect all these circles these three circles or whatever um, we'll just hit TR enter enter and then select that 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 and that and that combines all the circles and what you can also do is click and drag click and that gets rid of all of the inner lines so you can click again drag oops hit TR enter enter click drag and then remove and then I can also do it to these two down here too boom so okay those are all just you know meaningless shapes so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little knife design tutorial just to show you um, just a quick way to get into things so we're going to erase these enter and what I like to do is click line and then when you click line it says specify first point so and if you move your cursor it shows you all the different numbers that it could be so what I'm gonna do is just type 0 comma 0 and that sets your X and your Y axis so you hit enter and then now our first base point has been selected at the bottom at the X Y axis so now uh, I'm gonna use the ortho command which is F8 and that will straighten our line out so F8 and then as long as I have it on the right side of the Y axis uh, it will make a line perfectly straight out this way if I have it on the left side it will make it out to the left um, if I put it up above and down below it'll follow it'll follow suit so let's say uh, we're working with bar stock uh, on a knife that you know like but we order some bar stock from from a website um, so and, and it'll ship usually in like an inch and a half so what we're gonna do is come up here and write 1.5 enter and so now we have 1.5 inches as the length of our bar stock so now we need to determine what the length of our knife is gonna be so let's say we're just gonna do a 10 inch knife and hit enter and now we'll drag our cursor down this way and go 1.5 enter and then we can come back here and we don't have to type 10 again because we already have this green square connector right here and so we can just click on that and hit enter so essentially now we have our knife in bar stock form um, now we just need to make the design of the knife within the limits of our bar stock so I guess right now we could do we could break the knife up into two sections we can do the handle section and the blade section so I'm just gonna hit O and that's the offset command uh, and so you go O enter enter and then you click the object that you want to offset so we're gonna take this line and then offset it uh, let's say four inches that's usually a pretty good handle length um, so there we go we took this line copied it and put it right there so just to show you that again I'm gonna erase this one and hit O enter enter click and then drag it over type 4 and hit enter and there it will set it four inches away from that that end there see it's exactly four inches um, so now we have six inch six inches of blade to work with and why don't we just make a drop point knife and we'll go we'll make the belly of the knife right here so we're gonna click our arc command and then make our first point right here and we're gonna take off ortho because it's on right now so we'll hit F8 and we're gonna click again right here and then we'll try to line it up see now if you were to go too far it goes over and crosses but if you don't get it 
if you don't bring the line out enough it won't connect with this so what I like to do is when that green uh, object snap appears we're just gonna click right there and that will be the belly of our knife and now we're gonna be making the spine so we're gonna select arc again and since it's a drop point uh, it'll be radius on the outside uh, so we're gonna click click and click again so now we have our blade established and uh, now we're gonna form our ricasso so we're gonna hit escape twice to get all of our move sets uh, all of our commands out so right down here it should say cancel um, and then you're going to want to hit O enter enter and we're gonna offset this line point two uh, that's usually what I like to make my Ricasso's. It just it just seems to work well. So now within this section right here is going to be all of our handle. And what I like to do on the forefront of the knives is make a little finger choil. And now this is just you know an example. So if I were to put a circle here, um, this would be the finger choil. Um, other guys like to, you know, some sometimes you have an octagonal handle and you can just bring it out here. And then this would be your handle in this section right here. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to make a finger choil. So we're going to make a circle. So we're going to select our circle command and then select our base point and then hit D, enter, and then type 0.75. And 0.75, uh, which is three quarters of an inch, actually makes a really good finger choil. So we're going to take this, hit enter, and then move it up here. So we hit M, enter, select, select, and then we can move that circle wherever we want. But um, So it's going to go like right up in this area, but we want this part of the circle like this side of the circle to connect with this line exactly. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to hit L, enter, and then select the middle point, and then we're going to turn our ortho on, and then drag it a little bit past the edge of the circle, and hit, uh, or we're going to click there, and then we're going to hit escape. So now we want to trim off this little section right here. So we're going to go TR, enter, enter, and then trim that off right there and then hit escape twice and then hit M enter and then click drag click enter and now we're gonna use this point as our baseline to move so now that very edge of the circle will connect with this line so we're gonna click right there and now we're gonna turn our ortho, ortho off so hit F8 and we'll put it like right how about right there it looks to be a decent size and we'll check with our linear dimensions right here uh, and click right there and there and now we have 0.61 uh, and that's so it'll be a little bit over half an inch thick right there um, if we want to move it down a little further oops if we want to move it down a little bit further we'll hit M enter click drag select and then pick a point I'll go down just a little bit further um, I find that 750 thousandths makes a really good um, baseline uh, and you can tweak that you know not all knives are similar but let's see what we got here it's probably close it doesn't have to be right on but it's 0.715 so 715 thousandths and uh, that should be a pretty good handle size. So what we're going to do now is C O for copy. And we're going to copy this circle, hit enter, select the midpoint, then hit F8 to keep our ortho on, and we'll put it like right there. Looks good. Okay, and this is just to add our other finger cho choil for the pinky uh, and what we do to connect them is just use the arc command 
and you can just start it right here check F8 or click your F8 key to get rid of the ortho and then click and come up here and then just make it flush with the circle so there you have it's not so fluid right here so if you wanted to make this line attach with this circle a little bit better you can just say escape escape and then just hover your mouse hover your cursor over that line or that arc that we just made and select it and you have three points that pop up and what you can do is take that point and zoom in and then just move it up just a little bit and there you go now everything looks fluid and flush and we'll make the butt of the knife now so we'll select arc again and then select on that point and then select another point and another point so there we have the butt of the knife made and we really really have a good looking knife now um, and what we can do to clean this up is hit E enter and then get rid of that line right there hit escape escape now we'll, we're gonna trim these circles up so we're gonna hit TR enter enter and then click on the outer ring of the circle if you click in here it'll delete this line but if you trim out here click that and it's gone um, and now you can see right here it might be a problem because this might dig into your hand or this point right here might be just too sharp or something so we're gonna use the fillet command to round that off so we're gonna uh, select fillet or you can hit F enter and then you you come up with these commands down here select first object to undo polyline radius trim or multiple and we're gonna select radius or we can just type R enter and then we're gonna put we're gonna just type point zero five and you gotta like really experiment with your radiuses and figuring out what radius that you want but we're just gonna put point zero five and hit enter and now we can click that line and click this line and now it radius it over uh, removing the sharp point so we're gonna do that up here too so we're gonna hit enter again click click enter and then escape escape so now we are pretty close to finishing uh, so right now we're gonna trim some lines up TR enter enter and trim that one trim that one trim that trim that and there's one up here so we're gonna escape escape hit E enter click enter so it got rid of that line and uh, now we're gonna hit E enter click enter gets rid of that and then if you want to just keep erasing lines you don't have to hit E again you can just hit enter as long as you don't enter a different command uh, click this one oh actually no we can't do that we have to trim that one because there's a line right here if I were to erase it it'd get rid of it so we're gonna hit TR enter enter and then click that line up there and so basically we now want to make our bevel lines um, so what we can do there is use the offset command so we're gonna hit O enter enter click this line and we're gonna bring it up uh, how about we'll make it pretty much a full flat grind and make it 1.25 enter so and now we had escape twice and hit O enter enter we're gonna offset the belly and bring it up here so when you see that green uh, marker come up click it and now we have like a little thing that we want to trim off here so we're gonna escape escape TR enter enter and boom click that off of there and then we're gonna erase that too or well trim it um, and then we'll trim this line and trim that line so basically we have our bevel established established so 
but it, it, oftentimes when it's on the grinder, it doesn't really show up this way. And you don't really have to do this. You don't have to put the bevel lines and everything, or the handle, or the pins, or anything in it. But I just do it for planning purposes. So I'm going to go up here to fill it. R, enter. And then we'll do like 0.1, enter. So we'll select that, and select that. And then it looks more like it's actually on the grinder. And uh, now I suppose we can start making our handle. So we're going to hit L for line. And then just check at that circle. Come up here. Click. Come up here. Click. And now come down here. Click. Enter. And so that gives us uh, a handle proportion, or you know, something to go by, I guess. Uh, and now what you're going to want to do is pla uh, put on your pin placement. So we're going to hit circle, and then click. And then we'll just use like 1 8 pins, so that's point one two five. enter. Oops, actually I did that wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to erase that. I forgot to hit D, enter. Uh, otherwise, it just gives you the radius. So you're going to hit C, enter, click, and then now see if I were to do what I just did, I was to type 0.125, it actually makes a circle with a diameter of a quarter inch or 0.25, which essentially doubles it because it's just your radius. So be sure to type D, hit enter, and then type 1, or sorry, 0.125, enter. And then what we can do now is hit M, enter, select the object that we want to move, and then select in the middle, and put it where we want. So let's put it right there. So we have our first pin established. And now what we can do is C, O, for copy, click, click, enter. And now we're going to select the center of it. And we can just drag over and place it there, and then place another one there. So now we have all of our pins that we want in the knife, and it's essentially a done deal on this knife. And now a couple things that you want to do is just kind of measure your handle, make sure from this point to this point it's a reasonable length. Um, right now this is 3.4, so um, and that's just from end to end. So oftentimes you can actually add a little bit extra room by adding the finger choils and the belly on the handle, and that will give you a lot more space for your fingers. That it doesn't seem like it gives you that much more, but it it really does. So, but if you were to have just a straight handle, um, you may want to add a little bit of length to this. But for now, uh, that's what we're gonna go with. And um, well, essentially, if you want to take this knife and then print it out of your printer with a life-size application like what you what you made the dimensions to you can come up here and go to this basically file button and then go down to print and then come up to plot and then you would check your printer right here and in my case I would pick the Canon MX920 series and then you would come down to what to plot and click limits uncheck fit to paper and then go to scale 1 1 so this will make exactly the dimensions that you made on here and print it onto the paper so then you're you're ready to print a life-size knife onto your paper and if you have a knife that's too big for paper uh, you can actually cut it in half and then just basically tape it together when you're done but basically hit OK you will print your knife in a life-size form and now you have a template and you can cut it out and laminate it or do whatever you want to do with it um, but that's essentially it and let me know what you guys think of a tutorial like this uh, I know there's a lot of commands and a lot of <laughs> A lot of talking going on, but uh, if this helps you design your knives, please let me know down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and you know do all that stuff if you like my videos. Uh, it helps me out immensely, and I appreciate every single one of those little tidbits of help that you guys offer me. So 
um, keep doing that. I'll keep producing videos, and we'll get more done on all this knife stuff, and we'll have a good time. So, <laughs> all right. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, well, till next time. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.